Hi everyone, I'm Dean Atali, the shiny guy, and welcome back to another episode of Debugging with Dean. Today, I'm going to do something that feels a little bit risky. I'm going to open a pull request against the shiny package, and I'm going to do it live right here. So let's just get started right away. The pull request I want to make involves the icon function in Shiny and also the no white space parameter. Now, the icon function, I know that a lot of people know about, but the no white space arguments is something that not many people are familiar with. So before I get started showing you the pull request, uh, I want to first make sure that we're all on the same page and I want to explain um, kind of the background on the no white space parameter and also the icon function just to make sure that you understand exactly what I'm going to be doing. Let's start with the no white space argument. Now in Shiny, there is the tags list, which you can use in order to build any HTML tags. So for example, if I want to create an HTML div, I can use the tags dollar sign div. Now you can also nest them, of course. Um, this is something that a lot of people do know about Shiny. So let's say I want to put a strong tag inside a div. So strong tag makes text bold. And then after that, I want to put an EM tag. EM tags make things italics. But essentially, when you do create these tags, um, what Shiny creates is just the corresponding HTML tags. So you can see we have a div tag and inside of it we made a strong tag with the text bold and inside of it an em tag with the text italic. Now you'll also notice that there is white space between the beginning of the div tag and the strong, well between every two tags there is white space. So Shiny does have this um, white space control argument called dot no ws which stands for no white space that you can add to tags so if i say for example to not have white space after the strong tag then this will be the result right you see the difference now now after the strong tag ends the next tag has no white space and i'll show you what that means in an actual app let's take both of these and put them inside a Shiny app, and you'll see the difference in what that does. So if I run it, you can see that the first one actually has white space between the two tags, between bold and italic. And the second one, when I said to have no white space after the bold tag, you can see that there, there's no white space between them. They're, they're, they're smushed together. So that's what the no WS argument does. And all the tags that Shiny has um, using the tags list support this argument. The next thing you need to know about is the icon function. So Shiny has this icon function where it lets you put in icons into your Shiny app and by default it uses the font awesome library. So for example, I know that one of the icons that exist is pencil. So I'll show you what happens if I put a pencil icon into my app, I literally just see um, an icon of a pencil. Now what I wanted to do yesterday is add an icon after some text. So for example, like this, I have some text in my app and then an icon. And now you can, you might not be able to tell, but if I select, if I try to select the text here, you can see that there is actually white space between the word, between the text and the icon. So what I wanted to do is I, Yesterday, I needed to, to create an icon after text, and I wanted to make sure that there's no white space in between them. Now, I know that icons in Shiny are really just tags. So to prove that, if I print a UI to the console, you can see that the icon itself is just an I tag. And you can see that the pencil is just um, one of the icons that it puts here. So because icons are tags, and I know that tags have the no white space parameter, I assumed that I would be able to add a no white space argument to the icon function. But when I wanted to do that, I noticed that the icon function doesn't have a no white space argument. But to me, it made a lot of sense that it should because icon is just generating an, an HTML tag. 
So this is where there's there's a bit of a thin line between what is considered a bug or a missing feature sometimes. So in this case, I wouldn't quite say it's a bug. I would say it's a missing feature because it's something that I really expected there to be. And I think hopefully you would also agree that reasonably you would expect um, that no white space parameter to exist for icon as well. So I opened an issue on the shiny package yesterday um, saying that I think the no white space argument should be added to icons. And then today, now I want to show you how instead of just waiting for the shiny team to to reply and and, and do this themselves, um, I think I could just add it myself and do a pull request into shiny because you know that takes the work away from them. Um, there's a higher chance of them actually looking at it and um, and accepting it if it looks like something that they would want to add. So let's go through the steps now of fixing this issue and submitting the PR to Shiny. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Shiny page and I'll fork it into my GitHub page so that I'll have my own copy of the Shiny project. And then once I have it, I'll open it up in my RStudio. So copy the URL. I'll go to my RStudio and I create a new project for that, for the Shiny package. Now this might take a second because it's actually copying the entire Shiny project into my RStudio. Okay, so now I have my own copy of the Shiny package. So I know that I want to make the fix in the icon function. So let's look where the icon function is defined. By the way, I'm on Windows, so I pressed Control period, and that brought up this um, search bar where I can type in a function name or a file name and it'll find it for me. So let's go to where icon is defined. And we can see that these are the three arguments for icon, name, class, and lib. Now, I know that icon really just generates a, an HTML tag. So if I actually scroll down a bit in the function, we'll see where that happens. It happens right here. This is where they create the i tag. So what I want to do is I want to add the no white space argument into this function. So there's two ways that we could go about doing this. I could either explicitly add the same no white space argument to the icon function, and then we would just pass that into the i tag as well. That is one way to, to go about this. The other way is to add the dot 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 argument, which means that any further arguments that are passed into the icon function will automatically get passed into the i tag. So that's actually what I'm going to do. So all I'll do is, again, I'll show you what we did. I added a dot 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 parameter to the icon function. And then I take that dot 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 argument and I added into the call to tags dollar sign i right, right here at the end. So any further arguments that I pass into icon will just be passed into the tags into the tags dollar sign i. Now I don't know if the shiny team is going to like this solution. Um, they might prefer that I add the no white space parameter explicitly, or they might not even want this at all which is also fine. They might just tell me that this is not something they'll support and they'll just close the pull request. That's completely fine, but it's not a big deal to, to try to fix it anyway um, and to see if they want it or not. So I'm going to do that. And then after adding this dot 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 parameter, the last thing we still need to do is add some documentation for it because right, this is a package. Every argument you have, you have to add documentation for it. So I'm going to scroll to where the parameters sections is and I'll add the dot, 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 and it'll be called something like arguments to, or arguments passed to the I tag of HTML tools tags, because this tags list is actually from the HTML tools package. It's not actually from the shiny package itself, but the icon function is in Shiny. So we have that. Now I'll save. Um, 
Now I also want to regenerate the documentation. So let's redocument. So right now we're generating the documentation for Shiny because I added a new argument. And after this, I'm going to build the package. So it's Control Shift B for me on Windows. So this is building the package now. Okay, so we're back. Um, building actually took a couple minutes, so I, I just cut it off and, and we're back now when Shiny finished building. Now to see if it works, I'm going to use the same code that I had before. So just to remind you, this is the code I had where there's a text and there's an icon and there's some white space in between and I wanted a way to suppress that white space. So now what I did is I changed Shiny so that the icon function takes this dot 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 argument which will accept any parameters that the tags take and as we know tags such as tags dollar sign i um, do take a dot no ws argument so let's add the dot no ws um, we want to make sure that the white space before the icon is trimmed and if i run that that works so this is my fix. Now, before submitting it to Shiny, I'm also going to um, add it to their changelog, to the news file, uh, just because it's something that if they actually accept this PR, they're eventually going to have to write it into their changelog. So it's just a bit of a, it's just a bit nice to, to do it for them. So it's one less step for them to do. So I think I'll put it under minor new features and improvements. And again, like they'll have complete control. They can change it somewhere else, but I think that's where it makes the most sense. So I'll go to the end of this list and I'll say that what I did here was added support for um, ellipsis argument in icon. And then if I look at other um, other notes that they have here, I notice that they say like, thanks to someone, and then they have the issue number with it. So I don't, I don't really need my name there, I don't care, but um, I'll just reference the issue. So if we go back to the GitHub page, 3140 was the issue that I've opened. So I'll just reference that. Cool. Now all that's left, is to push this into my version of Shiny. So let's just make sure that I didn't make any mistakes. So I added the news item. In bootstrap.r, I added the parameter to the documentation. I added um, the ellipsis to the signature of the icon function. And then I added it into here. Okay, that looks all good. And then obviously to um, documentation files got updated. Now this plot PNG one, I did not mean to update it at all. And I did notice that there was a little error here on the side when I ran the documentation. Um, I'm trying to see what actually changed here. Oh, Cairo instead of Cairo PNG. Anyway, this is not something I meant to do. I don't know if this is because my environment is different than theirs or if it's something that um, whoever last worked on this function in Shiny just forgot to run the documentation. I don't know, but it's not something I meant to do. So I'll just revert this change. And then all these three we can stage and then we'll um, commit it. So added dot 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 support to icon. And then I'll say it fixes, what was the issue number again? 3140. Commit. And then I'll push it. And this, of course, gets pushed to my version of the Shiny package. And then I'll go back to my version of Shiny. And then we can see that our branch is now one commit ahead of theirs. So I will make a pull request. So make new pull request. And um, yeah, this is the commit that I want to do. So I'll just go down. That's exactly what I want. Create pull request. And done. So I have now made a pull request into Shiny 
live. And again, this was only done because yesterday I was trying to do something in Shiny that I thought should have existed, but it didn't. So we just went ahead right now and uh, fixed it ourselves. Now we'll see if the Shiny dev actually accepts this or not. There's a good chance they might not want this, which is okay. And so that's it for this one. If you have any comments, if you think you would have fixed this any differently, if you have any comments to share at all, feel free to comment on the video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe so that you'll see all the next videos that I do about Shiny. Bye.